Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to talk about the Marbles Hogbill. Maybe you know, maybe you don't, but Marbles is also a Chinese uh, brand that is owned by uh, Smoky Mountain Nightworks, uh, which is also the uh, company who owns the brand uh, Rough Rider. I have talked in a in a lots of videos about the quality about the precision about the value of those knives and i'm more than happy that that i can share also some marbles product here on my channel uh, i finally did find a reseller here in europe from france uh, that does uh, carry few items from marbles and rough rider so hopefully hopefully uh, i will have the the means and the money to to buy some more in the forthcoming months from them and share my uh, thoughts uh, and opinions on them here on my channel so this is the this is probably the the one of the interesting uh, lines that marbles uh, does have and the rough rider doesn't why i'm talking about uh, in these terms it is because uh, if you know me uh, i I do have a lots of uh, a lots of Rough Riders for my channel. Uh, one of the largest uh, collection of knives uh, that uh, they currently offer is the uh, Brown uh, Brown Stack Bone series, and uh, that also encompasses uh, the Hogbill. Uh, but I will be not talking about that one, but I will compare it with the Classic Micarta series that I also have, and uh, we'll show it to you later on. So this is the MR409, which is the model number of the Marbles uh, Hogbill. Um, you will have a few pictures uh, here on the box. And right from the start, uh, so this is a full stainless steel series. Uh, they have been produced uh, in a large quantity uh, through the years and have a few models uh, in the line but uh, sadly they are not all available and uh, yeah i will try to to get my hands on some of them and we'll talk in their respective videos but uh, let me tell you that uh, this one and um, there is also a scout knife or multifunctional knife that they have uh, with a spoon combo and uh, they are also few other knives uh, like the peg body and uh, handyman's handler too and yeah a rigger's knife uh, which i uh, some of them uh, are featured also here on my channel which they uh, will have a marlin spike and knife and maybe other tools but uh, let's talk about the hogbill so quick specifications uh, 18 centimeters overall length that is 7.1 inches the blade length is 7.5 or 3 inches. The handle length is 10.2 or 4 inches. And the blade width is 3.4 centimeters or 1.3 inch on the widest part, of course. Uh, the blade thickness is 2.1, uh, 2.5 millimeters here on the stock here, 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 and that is 0.1 inch. And the handle thickness is 7 millimeters, so nice uh, thin, or 0.3 inches. It has a match strike pull, um, which resembles a large uh, uh, nail nick opener. It is made out of uh, 440A uh, with a semi uh, satin, almost uh, almost mirror like polish. I would say it is a, a mirror, as you can see. Yeah. Has a laser engraved marbles quality knife logo with uh, embossed mar uh, marbles logo here on the heel of the knife and model number in China. The handle is also uh, stainless steel uh, with this uh, milled out or stamped out uh, part. You have a really a nice uh, long and large bail. And uh, one more special feature and also Proudly, uh, the shield is uh, is obviously uh, not included because this is basically a traditional knife without the, the scale, so they're only liners. 
but it has a uh, US stamped on it. So I don't know, I don't know the, the history about uh, this current uh, version, if it is, uh, if it is uh, something like uh, uh, it was issued uh, back in the days uh, to the military, because uh, let's uh, face it, uh, this is a pruner. So the, the hogbill is a pruner uh, style knife, so pruning uh, is for gardening, of course. Uh, but also, in my opinion, uh, it could be a really effective self-defense weapon. Just uh, you need to have time to to open it. But when you are opening it, then uh, you are in for for a really really bad day if you are assailant who would like to uh, to attack somebody who has something like this in their pocket. And you would say, but but this is a slip joint. Uh, it could damage your hands or your, your fingers. Uh, not, no, it is not. You can. It, it is still slip joint, but as you can see there, yes. This is the biggest difference between the Rough Rider, uh, Rough Rider uh, Hogbills and the Marbles. The Marbles has incorporated a liner lock, so definitely you will still have to depress it, and then you can close it. I will not suggest uh, uh, doing it as a, as a normal liner lock, so uh, by depressing it and closing it there, because there is a significant amount of pressure you need to to overcome the, um, the stiff uh, back lock spring. So it could potentially uh, cut you or damage your, uh, your finger. So I would suggest just depress it and then close it. It will uh, definitely uh, pop in the, in the closed position if you are opening it but you can hear now it is depressed and you can close it without any issues so definitely a nice nice uh, feature right there and as you can see there is no additional uh, liner but uh, it is from the bottom part to the up here so uh, inset in between so definitely a nice design features uh, this could be also implied uh, with, uh, with the Rough Rider ones, but uh, for some reason they opted to uh, leave that one just in a configuration as a slip joint, which this one could be probably in a potential uh, hostile situation. You could uh, you can use it as a self-defense tool, as a yeah. And let's face it, uh, hog bills are are really effective uh, while cutting probably everything uh, not only uh, saplings and uh, maybe some pruning some <laughs> twigs and and uh, and plants but also uh, cutting rope and cutting uh, yeah flesh and tear flesh and so the weight is uh, 191 grams or 3.2 ounces like I mentioned it has a liner look and uh, the pricing, I I have not the pricing at the hand, but uh, it should cost around around eight to nine dollars. So really inexpensive uh, for current pricing. Just check out probably uh, Smoky Mountain Nightworks. Uh, they should have them uh, listed. I don't know if they are still available. Uh, but yeah, excellent, excellent knife. So let me give you um, a comparison with the Rough Rider. So basically, they should be the same. Yeah. Probably they are even made in the same factory. But now uh, you have an option maybe for your car maybe for your for your uh, pocket uh, coat pocket so you can have one inexpensive knife that uh, in some situations maybe could potentially uh, help you out in a pinch uh, maybe in a in a um, bad situations or if you need to maybe cut some uh, rope or uh, cordage uh, this would be also a functional uh, knife for you in that situation so Definitely, definitely uh, nice and highly recommended item. 
at this price point uh yeah uh this is this is uh what uh, a coffee from starbucks or maybe a meal yeah um so there is uh, there is no excuse for you to not uh, uh not have uh even if you don't uh, like knives or don't uh, don't want to have knives, uh, but uh, you never know uh, when you are you needing one. And this is a, a really really great uh, budget value option out there. Okay, so but let's talk about some size comparisons. So just quickly, let me take out uh, some known knives. Let's start with the uh, red model one. Let's continue with uh, Spyderco Endura. Um, here is a Delica small Griptilian Buck Vintage Pro. Mm, Buck Sprint Pro. Sevivi Elementum, K by Dozier, Kaiser Pinch, Ace Grand, and also uh, the Cebu from Two and Ice. Something more on the traditional side, uh, the Sevivi Rustic Gent. Okay, so uh, yeah, marbles knives. I'm really impressed. Uh, some of them uh, I have featured here on my channel. If you like to check them out, then uh, you can go uh, to my playlist and find them, or just uh, type in on my channel marbles. And you will you will find them. Uh, they are more on a on a uh, little bit more expensive than a Rough Rider. So I'm really impressed that they uh, have produced this line of full stainless steel knives for uh, for even uh, under the price of the Rough Rider brand. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching. If you are a subscriber, big thumbs up to you. If you are not, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and oriented. To, to give you some perspective and maybe uh, opinions uh, so you can uh, uh, you can make better uh, decisions if that product is right for you or not. Money is scarce and uh, the last thing that I would really like to want uh, for you that uh, you waste your money. Uh, I try to be uh, completely honest. Uh, I'm not sponsored uh, by these brands so these are uh, bought with my own money and uh, just uh, sharing my passion and hobby here uh, on youtube okay so wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon bye